Hey, how's everyone doing? Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Die Rise Easter Egg for Richtofen, solo and co-op. And to be able to do this solo, you will need to install Plutonium and the solo mod from GitHub. I will have links with steps to install both of these down in the description. Before you start, whether you're playing solo or co-op, you will have to build the nav card table. And when you build it once, you'll never have to build it again. Unless you're playing co-op with someone who has never built it, then just build it again. In my Die Rise Maxis guide, I show you how to build it more in depth, but I will do so again a little bit faster. All the parts are going to be in the same location every game on the roof. The radio will be behind the stairs, the table will be right in front of the build location, the electrical box will be in this corner, and to get back you'll have to take the elevator. Finally, the meteor will be in this trash pile. Take all the parts to this corner and build the nav card table up against this wall. In solo, you can only hold one part at a time, and if you go down, you will also drop the part that you were holding. You can actually build the nav card table in one game and then come back in a different game and do the easter egg in that one. Without further ado, let's start step one. And step one is seriously just going to be turning on the power, but also make sure if you're playing solo that you're playing a Stoolinger, and if you are in co-op, you'll need four players so you'll already have one person playing as him. Step two is going to have you find four different symbols around the map on top of the elevators. In co-op, each player needs to stand on these symbols at the same exact time, which is going to take some coordination. They will light up when done correctly, and the four symbols are going to be on the quick revive elevator, the elevator next to quick revive, the elevator next to the stairs on the roof, and this elevator next to power. In solo, you only need to step on one of them, and you can pick any one you want, and it will make all of them light up automatically when you step on it. Step 3 is going to have you find the exact same four symbols, but this time they're going to be on the floor. In co-op, you need to have each player stand on them, but this time it needs to be in a specific order. So you'll have one player step on one of them, and if it lights up, then that's the first one in the sequence. Then, find the next one. If it doesn't light up, have another player stand on theirs until one of them lights up. This is a slight bit of trial and error, just make sure when you step on them, it's one player at a time. When you've gotten the correct order, they will all be lit up for the rest of the game. There's going to be one next to the quick revive elevator and spawn, one next to the shower bank outside, one by the Semitex wall by on the roof, and the last one is going to be next to the death slide in this big room. In solo, you only have to find the first correct one, and the rest will be done automatically for you. Step 4 is going to need you to have a sniper, and you can get one out of the box, but the easiest way to do this is to buy the SVU off the wall right here, and then go over to this window and look at the dragons on the roof and snipe the balls out of the dragons' mouths. There should be a total of two. For step 5, build the Sliquifier. There's going to be four parts, and there's going to be a part on this table in front of the bank, on this table in front of the power switch, on this table in front of the two elevators to the right, in front of this TV on the floor, on this barrel downstairs in the front of the workbench, to the right of the workbench in this cage, and to the left of the workbench on this counter. All these parts will be in these seven locations, but a part that you found in one game can be a different part in another game. Just check them all until you've gotten all four, and go ahead and build all the parts at the workbench and pick up the Sliquifier. Step 6 is going to have you take the Wonder Weapon to the spawn room and dump all of the ammo into these two balls until both of them are spinning non-stop. Make sure you have enough ammo inside the Wonder Weapon, and it takes about 20 shots per ball. Once you've done that, you can move on to Step 7, and Step 7 is going to need you to build the Trample Steam. All the parts are going to be in spawn or to the room right outside of spawn, and each part will be like the Sliquifier in the sense that in one game a part can be somewhere, but in another game a different part will be in that exact same spot. The possible spawn locations are going to be on the receptionist desk in spawn, on the staircase to the left, outside of spawn underneath the painting, just opposite of that on the wall, heading right from there, in this corner, to the right of the escalator, and leaning up against this chair and spawn. Take all the parts to the bottom floor of spawn and build them at this workbench. Now in co-op, everyone needs to pick one up and find four symbols around the map on the floor that look like a nuketown zombie. There's one to the right of spawn near the elevator, one to the right of the stairs on the roof, one just in front of that a little bit to the left, and one on the balcony to the right of the Semtexes. Everyone needs to place a trample steam on the symbols facing the satellite tower. Now you need to get zombie kills with the trample steam until Richtofen says stop. Remember only Stoolinger will hear this. In solo, you only need to get one trample steam and place it on any symbol you choose and get the kills. After doing this, the satellite tower will start glowing blue on each corner. Step 8 is going to have you buy the Galva Knuckles and find 8 Mahjong tiles around the map. There's 12 possible spawn locations, and they're pretty hard to see. They can be found next to the satellite tower, at the crumbled staircase next to spawn, 
in spawn on the receptionist desk in the upside down building on this pillowcase at the bottom of the escalator in spawn on this shelf near the workbench for the sliquifier on this sewing table near power, in the upstairs of the Buddha room in the corner, in the elevator shaft, one floor below the roof on this counter, and finally on these chairs near where you picked up the electrical box for the nav card table. After you found all eight of them, you need to translate them using this key. Just match the color with the symbols and you'll get a letter and a number. For example, if I get this symbol and it's the color red, and I get this symbol that is also red, I would get E3 and you need to do this for all eight getting four combinations total. Once you've gotten all of your codes, it's gonna correspond to the corners on the satellite tower that should already be lit up blue from doing the previous step. Each corner is gonna correspond to a navigational direction. North is the side facing the other building. East is to the right facing Semtexes. South is just to the right of that facing the rest of the building you're already standing on and west is facing the dragon. The letters you got are gonna be the navigational directions and the numbers are gonna be the order you need to hit them in. For me, I got S1, E2, N3, and W4. So I meleeed those corners in that order with the galvanuckles. Once you've done all that, you've completed the Easter egg. You'll be awarded all perks on the map permanently for the rest of the game, and you'll get an achievement called High Maintenance if you have not done the Easter egg for Maxis. I want to thank all of you for watching, and if you liked the video or found this informative, leave me a comment down below, and my next video is going to be the Richthofen side for Buried, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.